the, the, the kind of uh, work I'm going to be talking about is uh, traditional construction, in mainly in, in, in other countries than in the United States. Because I, I found this really uh, very interesting. It came out of my interest in architecture, and in particularly in vernacular architecture, as a building conservator. Uh, first, I want to um, show you something that probably many of you are familiar with from the earthquake that happened in uh, Iran um, uh, uh, five years ago. Uh, this is the before and after of the um, uh, Argi Bam, which was their seminal historical site. Uh, and uh, a, what was claimed to be the world's largest earthen um, structure. It was, in fact, a uh, walled city, an archaeological site, and I've done these before and afters to give you some sense of the dramatic transformation, this, uh, what had been a marvelous historical um, ar archaeological site had gone through in an earthquake. And, and then um, take you, um, I want to kind of show you how, in a very short space of time, I tried to put my arms around why this collapsed. And that is, you know, everybody was saying when I got to Iran and their engineering institute and all of that, that uh, in fact, you know, what's the big surprise? It's made of earth. It was a big earthquake. It had a large vertical uh, shaking component. Um, buildings fall down. So anyway, um, what I did find when I got there seemed to conflict with the findings of the uh, Getty Conservation Institute and did a 10-year-long uh, uh, seismic study of adobe structures to try to come up with a better way of analyzing these buildings uh, to see why, in fact, many of them do survive earthquakes. And what they had determined is that even if they, since they have very low material tensile strength, but because many of them have very thick walls, uh, the, um, the fact that they crack doesn't mean that they immediately fall over. It's a kind of a, a, they uh, changed it from a strength-based analysis procedure to a stability-based analysis uh, and recommended that engineers do this kind of thing uh, to uh, analyze adobe buildings in California and uh, throughout the Americas, including Peru. And, of course, that's, in fact, what we see here in, uh, after 1906 uh, in San Francisco, where the 19th century uh, uh, brick church had fallen down, whereas the 18th century adobe structure survived. Not every adobe structure has survived, of course, but you notice that the buttressed wall here, where the, uh, with nominally the thicker uh, adobe is, uh, is standing, and the building itself didn't collapse. And it, it kind of comes home to me when I um, got these pictures of the um, uh, Mission San Miguel in, in San Simeon, er, affected by the San Simeon earthquake, which, as you can see here, uh, for the last five years after the earthquake, it's been uh, roped off. They've been trying to raise millions of dollars to fix this building, and that is the level of damage it sustained in, in this earthquake. And then uh, a friend of mine, uh, uh, Niels Roseland, a, a structural engineer in California, uh, I asked if he had any pictures of it before, and he sent me his picture, which is this one now that you see here. And I said, oh, uh, now, this is very interesting, I said to them. The building has not had a change of state, uh, at least this facade of it, and I haven't myself been able to analyze the building as a whole, but the, the facade is exactly in the same state it was in before the earthquake, after the earthquake. Some of the, uh, as you see on the right, the uh, stucco has fallen off the surface, but it, it essentially worked the same joints that it opened up in probably pr pr uh, prior earthquakes. Sort of confirming the Getty analysis approach as having, having validity, at least for that building. Now we go back to Iran, and the story gets interesting. This is an aerial photograph taken in the 70s by a National Geographic photographer of the uh, Argi Bam, and you're looking down on essentially a walled city in ruins. It hadn't, uh, except for the buildings on the top of the mountain, there hadn't been occupied in probably 150, or at that time maybe uh, 125 years, and, and now it would be 150, 175 years. So it essentially uh, was a, a ruinous site. Over the uh, uh, last 50 years prior to the earthquake, a slow but steady restoration program was undertaken, which you can see here had turned many of these uh, ruins back into buildings. 
uh, adobe buildings. They used uh, traditional technology, mainly adobe uh, bricks, uh, whereas a large part of the historical structure was, in fact, uh, uh, what they called chine in Iran, which is a uh, pise, a, a rammed earth construction. Um, and um, this, uh, uh, the lower left photo that you see here, this arch here is this arch here. So you can see they're actually building structures over this main passageway uh, that you see here before the restoration. Uh, and using, though, a traditional construction way of building. This is the, uh, um, the site, um, a couple of views of the site uh, prior to the earthquake. And you can see it, it had a, a certain um, a beauty and, and sensuous quality of undulating walls, all made of earth, uh, that had um, es essentially uh, uh, buildings had been there you know, for uh, as much as 1,500 or 2,000 years, and the site had uh, been configured very much like the way it was uh, coming into the restoration program for 700 years. Now, take a careful look at this. This is a pre-earthquake photo, and that's the same view after the earthquake. It essentially took buildings down so far down that the rubble piles were often higher than the standing remains of the ruins. So um, one can really ask the question, what did happen here? It gets more interesting as we start, as I started to look around the site. And as you can see here, um, the collapse is sort of a collapse in place with vertical uh, cleavages through these uh, masonry walls instead of the characteristic uh, diagonal tension cracks that one would form an X on, the, on walls. But wait a minute, hold the phone. I went around the corner up to the back of the site. This is an area of the site that had not been restored, had not been touched, had not been lived in probably for 175 years. Uh, and the buildings didn't fall down. Uh, the ruins are still standing. They're not even, uh, they're roofless, which one would assume would be uh, worse for an earthquake than the then later restored roofed buildings. So, um, and then uh, we look at this um, on, the, um, um, on the north side, and uh, the, uh, the walls here remain standing, whereas the walls around the whole rest of the complex had fallen down. 